Hey. 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 How's it going? Is that the Stanley Cup? It is. Okay. Well, no. Everybody's no, no. It's like is, reduced. Is that a knockoff? No, this one's better. This <laughs> one's way better. It doesn't leak. Um, also, it holds a whole bottle of vodka in it. it it's good. What is well, it? like, the reason the Stanley Cup was, like, such a big deal, like, that one TikTok, I feel oh, like the really... Fire in the car? Yeah, I feel like the fire yeah. in the car one really, like, set it off. The fact there was still ice yeah. in it after there was a fire around it, like, that's insane. So, like, yeah. I, I'm like, that's the best marketing. Like, I'm, like, like the Stanley best marketing. Should be giving them all the money. Like, yeah, that. It should be. Even, like, that's the- a bunch of, cu- like, cups and stuff and... But yeah, just a bunch of cups. Here you go. Like your car yeah. fucking burnt down. Uh, no, I think they, they paid for something. I don't know. Like they gave money and like a bunch of cups and whatever. Um, but the problem with Stanley's is that they leak. And so like mothers are like carrying their coffees and stuff and like it's just dripping everywhere. So they don't like that. I so, yeah. Stanley doesn't care. Everyone I'm bought them. Trying, yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to get Tim Hortons. Stanley's like what? Um, they like uh, teamed up with Target, and there was a huge freaking oh yeah no no. And people were like Starbucks waiting in Target. line overnight for this fucking cup, and they had like a limit of two. It was like Starbucks, Target, um, Stanley, like all like went in on this project. I was like, it's a pink cup. Who cares? I would never it's line up for a limited cup. Limited edition. Right? Stanley. Did you see no. the accessories that people are making for the Stanley Cup? No. On Timu, there's so many. There's like, you can get like a fanny pack for your Timu cup to hold your change. <laughs> and it wraps around your like cup like a fanny pack. You can get um like clothes that like fit it so you can like dre- decorate Dress them. You can get like there's multiple different types of pocket styles you can get on it and like that kind of stuff. Keychains, holder things so you can put keychains on your Stanley cup. Lots of lots of ways to accessorize. <laughs> cups for your Stanley cup, but it's all for the cups like that, the Yeti, the whatever, Ooh. like they're yeah. all pretty much universal, same size. So like it. Well, yeah, similar. Like they're different. Some are different, like a little bit shaped, but yeah. But no, they're like on TikTok, like people ounces. are creating and like selling. Like mm-hmm. they're like yeah. Stanley specific, and they're like showing. They're like, look what I just got my Stanley cup, and they're doing <laughs> like, like get ready with Stanley? me Stanley cup edition. But can't they get sued? Like how? Because they're using Stanley's name, aren't they? Like no, they're not putting they're not putting Stanley on like the, the oh, stuff. Okay, okay. They're just so putting fake. it on their Stanley cup. It's an accessory. Oh, okay. And every I time say, I still like, think it's... hockey. Every time oh, Stanley yeah. Cup, all I hear think about is hockey. Yeah. 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 That's all I can think about. I was like, oh, like like in all these groups. I'm like, people are like, oh, did you get your Stanley Cup? I'm like, I didn't know it was the end of hockey already. Like <laughs> Oh, and there was a brief moment on Google where this fucking cup was the number one search when you search Stanley Cup and not the hockey one. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's how bad this fucking trend went. It's fucking insane. It's, you know why? It's because women market things better than men. Let's be honest, because it's a woman product. We like the Stanley Cup more than men like their Stanley Cup. So... <laughs> Oh, even, like, back in the fucking day, like, everything was always marketed towards women, because women did most of the household shopping. Well, we still do. Come on now. Yeah. Yeah. Jessica, what are you drinking tonight? Uh, So, I am just drinking caffeine-free Diet Coke tonight, but uh, I contacted my weed guy today, so I'm pretty high. (laughs) <laughs> uh, if you're right watching now. youtube um we are in a legal state okay legal place so don't judge me i can't open my eyes don't yeah, ask me if you're to watching watch youtube me. jessica can't open her eyes <laughs> um, i have stuff growing in my basement like we're allowed <laughs> to do whatever we want uh, yeah four plants. Yeah. i only have one but it's the size of four right now <laughs> it's huge <laughs> it is takes up the whole Jeez. tent <laughs> Sonia what are you drinking right now I am drinking a lot um the red drink uh shit cranger ale and vanilla rum so. Ooh. 
I'm drinking raspberry vodka and Sprite. 50-50. Pretty much the same thing. Yeah, I got 20 ounces of vodka and 20 ounces of Sprite. Nice. Yeah, so, out of the not Stanley cup. Out of the not Stanley cup. What does that say on it? Repurposed? Reduced. Re yeah. <laughs> Repurposed. <laughs> Repurposed. <laughs> No, reduce. Is it, is it the repurpose cup? <sighs> Wheel oh. of oh. Fortune. fortune. You guys hear this? Song? Yeah. ASMR. And then the Sims musical. <laughs> come on. Yeah. <laughs> What's something about you you want to still be have or be able to do at ninety? Breathe. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I'm fine being gone before 90. I don't meet very many 90 plus year olds. <laughs> like, yeah. I know many. Well, just because I work with old people. Um, there's like a few just like in my neighborhood. There's a guy that's like 104. Oh my God. Too long. He's like, yeah. does his own thing. He makes like rhubarb pie. <laughs> Your bones like, are way too creaky. My bones are creaky now. I can't it's, imagine what my bones are going to be like at 100. They're it's the dust. logging life here. You need to start logging or something. Potato farming? You yeah, need to either do that. deforestation or potato farming. And then you'll be able to make <laughs> rhubarb pie at 90. 90. <laughs> 100 or whatever. I don't know. He's like 104. I know. I feel like so much of it is genetics that, it is. like, it's oh my God. So. Genetics. It's like, I don't know proper diet i don't know oh my god if it's genetics i only have like 20 years left that's what it's i'm not, saying like, that's it's not insane. good <laughs> i know oh my days aren't coming to an end <laughs> well, like, well it's like no genetics like my father died at 37 i'm only a year younger than that and my mom died at 54 so i mean like if i lived up to her age i'm golden then right but like one more year and then i'm as old as my father was like that's crazy yeah, yeah. my dad died at 55 depressing. my mom died at 61 what? i don't know uh, something like that <laughs> 61 61 62 um my uncles were all younger than that uh my nephew my brother all younger than that yeah that's uh, any day now is pretty much <laughs> yeah like it's so bad because there's like i like i know people uh um that like drink and smoke still and they're 98 like yeah. you know and it's like how like you've been like smoking every day since you were like nine years old <laughs> <laughs> like and you're fine you're fine but like so many people that don't smoke get lung cancer it's like hmm. Yeah, it's because it's the second hand and third hand that's worse for you. It's like the first hand keeps you safe. Like it gives you like a barrier. <laughs> Just fucking, it's my voice. Here. I don't think that's true, but no. like <laughs> second and third hand smoke is also bad. <laughs> yeah. I used to get like ear infections all the time, like growing up. They were like, oh, you're just a sick kid. And I was like sick all the time. Mm -hmm. Up until I was like 20. And it was because secondhand smoke. <laughs> oh. Don't smoke around your kids. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Now I have health problems, so many. Um, I don't think it's from secondhand smoke. It's definitely the like autism body growing, but <laughs> <laughs> all the other genetical problems yeah everything else wrong with me not it had nothing to do with environment but all genetics <laughs> mm -mm. so what was the question again something we want to keep oh, and have shit. when we're yeah. 90 what yeah, something well, yeah. you want to have or be able to do when you're 90 how about until like your end of days because <laughs> none of us are living up until that age uh um, <laughs> i or do I mean like I'd still like to have my mental capacities to some extent you know yeah. like I'd still like to be able to like read what I want to read and watch what I want to watch and uh 
uh, like play music and that kind of stuff. I don't want to like lose abilities that re- need cognitive functioning, which can happen when you're older, especially with the rise in dementia and shit. Yeah. Well, maybe hopefully our generation <laughs> they'll be like some medication for to help with that. <laughs> yeah, fingers crossed. Um, <laughs> well, it's like you know what we just found out that like all the I- Alzheimer's meds were like bullshit. Yeah, mm-hmm. like <laughs> it's like uh, like for years, like people have been taking those for years just to find out that there was no no chance. Yeah, stupid. There, there's really well, there has been lots of other studies. Like, um, just go with it. Has been like um, very positive. Like if they think they're 20 go with it like yeah. if they think you're susan go with it like don't yeah but see that's more. that's yeah it keeps the environment less stressful but you're still losing your cognitive oh function. yeah yeah so, you know yeah, so i'm yeah. saying like from that it, person that's thinking that you're 20 when you're not it's like i don't want to be that person yeah no yeah. no but yeah. like it it helps it like doesn't make it better but it's just better less care. Stressful. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Exactly. It creates better a better quality of life. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Which leads to less deteriorating as quick. If you have a healthier nurturing environment, you're not going to deteriorate as quickly. Um, that's yeah. just the studies right now. Like again, like well, I think that goes with like changes, the placebo but- effect. And, like, all those, like, when they're, like, if you think more positive, like, you feel better. And it's, like, you know, that whole, I think if you're just less stressed. That's like, I don't even think it's, like, everything. Yeah, I don't stress. think it's you being positive. I think it's you not being stressed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Stress causes so much damage. <laughs> it, it does. It causes a lot of illnesses, too. Yeah, it yeah. makes you like makes it so your immune system is weaker, so you can catch everything. Yeah. Like it, yeah, it's not just a mental; like it's there, it's physical too. Like yeah, it, it damages really your you. whole body. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, streams in your heart too, and so I don't want stress. That's something yeah, you want to get rid 90. of. Before yeah, that's you're something 90. that's I'm fine for that to go. Actually, that's yeah. If that's something I can get rid of, yeah. Like that's yeah. Not <laughs> <enough>. yeah. <laughs> um, what I would want to keep is my ability to chew steak at ninety with my real teeth. That would be great. So you want to keep your real teeth? Wait, okay. I, I need to clarify something. <laughs> okay, <laughs> real So you want to keep your real teeth like in your skull right. at ninety? Okay, because I was gonna Hopefully. say like you could like potentially pull them out and make your own dentures out of your real teeth, and then just. <sighs> oh well, I just, I just want to be able to make sure I can eat steak at ninety. Okay, like yeah. I don't know how I want to do it. Just I want to eat steak at ninety. I don't want to I, be all just gums. <laughs> I used to have a client who was over ninety, and she still ate steak. Her teeth weren't hers, but she was still eating steak. So don't worry about it. You'll be fine. <laughs> I mean, half like the twenty. <laughs> half the 20 and 30 year olds right now all have fake teeth anyway if they can afford the yeah. fake part yeah they have, like they, they want them fake teeth. Like, <laughs> so it's either my real teeth or gum like no i'm telling you as soon as like, you gotta go to mexico in. yeah i'm going to mexico, to mexico as soon as i can i have really uh bad teeth um my like stimming is i have to like flick and push on my teeth like all the time, I'm always pushing and flicking, um, so they're always constantly in pain, and I'm pushing like they're harder shifting. in them all the time, and they're like, yeah, they're like moving. They're um, so I'm still surprised that I have teeth mm-hmm. like that every day. I grind them a lot too. Like my like that's what my stimming is. Is well, I do so much, but mostly a lot is like mouth, so no one can mm-hmm. see it. <laughs> yeah. Um, but as soon as I got 10K, I'm fucking at vacation. My next vacation is dental work. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I need health care. If you see my Facebook status, it says off to Cancun. You know what's happening. <laughs> yep. I'm not getting new boobs, but, you know, teeth are better, I think. I, I think teeth are better, too. Yeah. To boobs I, are too much of a hassle. 
Oh my gosh, don't you have to get them like redone? If you get like fake boobs, do you not need to get them redone? Yeah, no, implants you expire. Every, yeah, you have to do it every, what is it, 10 or 15 years, depending on what you get. Yep. Um, if you get silicone or if you get saline or whatever it is, um, it depends on the type of breast implant you get. And yeah, they do expire. You have to replace them. Um, you'll get calcium buildup on the actual implant inside and it'll make it heavier and it'll hurt. So that's why you have to take it out and get new ones because your body's trying to reject it. Right. Yeah. It's of course. To it's, over it. It's yeah. Not Cause proper. it's a foreign object. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. So yeah, like, yeah, no, it needs to be done for sure. I just feel like that's too much upkeep for me. Like, <laughs> be like, Oh my God, I'll be stressing for the next 15 years. Like right. I gotta, I have this appointment coming up. <laughs> so well, that's why you it. see so many like older celebrities taking their like implants out yeah. like it's because it's too much of a hat like going under the knife when you're like 50 60 years old yeah it's or wrong. like something elective right near your heart and lungs like that's it gets like, risky yeah, yeah. Oh, any surgery the older you are even like the life-saving surgery the older you are um, yeah you're like, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> um, I want to have my eyesight. Uh, it's really bad as it is. So I'm hoping maybe there's something I can do to make it better in the future. Um, but I'm hoping to still see. Uh, yeah. I don't want to have to learn something new, like whatever really people. <laughs> Yeah, like whatever people have to do once they're blind to like navigate through life. Um, I feel like that just sucks. Yeah. Like I don't wanna. I just <laughs> I want eyesight. I know. I, I've thought about that. Like which um like which would I rather be? Like mute, deaf, or blind? Blind. Mm -hmm. And it's like I would hate like I don't I can't pick one. Yeah, the none of them are none good them. things. Maybe <laughs> deaf. I would. I think I'd be okay with being deaf. Like, how are you gonna do your audio book? My then? husband's a musician. <laughs> <laughs> you plan on keeping My him until you're ninety? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> he's gonna live to be ninety-eight. So you know, <laughs> he's gonna oh. live forever with his Greek genes. I'd be oh. okay if Kyle lived as long as I did. It wouldn't be so bad. <laughs> it <would> be, yeah. <laughs> I want to keep being able to play video games, like hand mobility. Oh, that hand would be hand, the hand eye coordination and stuff. And well, I don't have hand eye coordination now, <laughs> but like just being able to like hold the controller and like you moving. see some of them, and because of like arthritis and stuff, they. Yeah, yeah, that shit yeah. runs in my family with the women's. Oh. You guys are uh, doing like stretches. I don't think that helps author arthritis. Spider push-ups. No, yeah, you just like surgeries now that they. Yeah, have to, like, you. Have, my mom tunnel. had to get surgery. Yeah. The carpal tunnel yeah. surgery is like 50-50 shot. If yeah, even worse. but it's your it's, it's so the bad. joint. Carpal doesn't help like when your fingers are curling up like this. <laughs> yeah, it's, there's like I don't really have that many attachments. My kids maybe. That'd be nice. <laughs> you like, like to have them at 90. People yeah. I love, yeah. But like objects and abilities. You. I was I just concerned know. about how, what I'm going to eat. Like, that's all I care about. Oh. Like, anything else can go. Ta I don't, tapioca, tapioca, a tapioca pudding is yeah. like, there's like an age thing, like where you get a certain age and you just start eating tapioca pudding. Have you guys noticed that? Like, it's you just true. Old people I don't are like all it. About it's gross to me. Pudding. Like, I, I like what, it's just vanilla. <laughs> like, why do you need the beads in it? Just have <laughs> vanilla pudding. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, you like it, Dabri? Because you're free. I love tapioca. I <laughs> she's in, like, already old. Protein. I know yeah. she's so old. <laughs> I love tapioca. Fuck you. <laughs> and they always smell like garlic. Like, do you get a memo once you're like 50? You're like, okay, <laughs> you need to start eating garlic by the clove and tapioca pudding. That's that's okay. What it has to smell like soup. It does like what? <laughs> 50 years have smells like soup. Okay, I do have a myth about the old people smelling like vegetables and stuff like that. Um, 
if you ask like older people like what to do when you're sick they'll say shit like put onion in your socks and they're old so they're probably always sick yeah. <laughs> so they're just always putting vegetables in place and put garlic <laughs> in your nose to help the mucus come out you know oh. that kind of shit so they're just doing all of this all the time chili peppers in their bras like it yeah and they're having like milk baths for their joints and shit. like so curdling they're... yeah oh. <laughs> so it's, that's the old people smell <laughs> They're just like trying they're to feel shit. better. That's right. They're like the ailments of old age, and we're talking <laughs> shit about them. Like, I just want to feel young again. And we're like, you guys stink. Like, fucking assholes. <laughs> Do a better job. Smelly. <laughs> so that's my theory. Um. <laughs> oh. We have another theory if you go to. <laughs> A past episode about garlic. Well, I'll link it in the description. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, you got some graphics about it. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I like to still know how to use a computer. The like new that. futuristic computers in the 90s. <laughs> but yeah, I've been able to like adapt as they've changed. Um, and a lot of seniors now have been able to. Yeah adapt i'm hoping i'm still able to yeah well everything's touch right like there's no really buttons like even on my phone like there's a couple like on the side but everything is just touch now so computers will be the same i'll have a my keyboard like it you just keep it just to like for your asmr just just like like, use it it's comforting to you well, also, like, I like feeling where the buttons are because that's how I type fast is I can feel the bumps. I just do this. Like, my fingers are like this and my face is, like, right again. <laughs> I've already typed like an old person. I'm like... Why do I do the pointer? I use my first three. Like, I rarely use my pinkies, but I'll use the first three. Yeah, I use taught. Yeah, space. And being like a this, I can still do 40... 45 words per whatever i'm like i'm like master uh i still pass yeah when i type my pinkies are always up and like i never put them down like they never hit the far my pinkies are up for a lot of things (laughs) like they don't like to do things they they don't they're like that for not just typing eating drinking holding things they're just People like fucking smoke, put their pinkies off like yeah what why do we have pinkies okay well i it's like our little toe like eventually it's gonna be like obsolete they're just getting smaller and more useless the more we have children and we stop using them oh oh shit because we're not reproducing anymore okay so what we need to do is we need to get a group of people that are going to be reproducing and they we take their babies and the, and like we start just like Stretching Feeling their babies, babies. <laughs> okay. right? Okay, we're taking a group. We'll take a sample of babies and do this. Okay, stealing babies. <laughs> Got it. Yes. Okay, yes. and we're gonna like just every day they have to do these things with their pinkies. Tasks with their pinkies. Torturing and torturing. <laughs> okay. yeah. Teaching, teaching, oh, teaching. teaching. Hey, you do exercise with your babies all the time. You do tummy time and shit like that. We're just doing that a couple minutes a day with our little kids. Pinkies, that was okay? torture. We're just yeah. adding it. We're and adding pinky. Then they're going to grow up these super strength pinkies and then we'll have them breed with each other okay <laughs> <laughs> we're not related no no no. <laughs> we, we purposefully chose a wide sample and uh <laughs> this is getting very illegal like, like, really? <laughs> there's so much ethically wrong with this i will do their pinkies and i'm sure by like gen four we'll be like we'll have a completely branch of like humans that are just really pinky. It's all <laughs> pinky. They're not gonna fight you. Dunk. <laughs> pinky promises will be like a fucking war. They'll be like and bring each other. They're ripping off pinkies. But they'll oh, be yeah. like riding on like cars and pinky can reach everything. It's like a yeah. whole the extra. Pinkies are this long. <laughs> 
You <laughs> oh. can, like hit people. <laughs> yeah. Although, my pinky is pretty strong. Like when you have to bring stuff into the house or whatever, oh, like yeah, I can hold so like twenty pounds per <laughs> pinky. Like okay, when I'm holding Caleb's hand to go across the street, like and now lately he doesn't want to hold my hand. I literally have to like loop my pinky around his yeah. wrist and walk it. That's the and kid it grip. Works. Yeah. yeah, Kenny oh. used to do that when we were little. Like he, like I, I thought he invented it. Um, <laughs> you hold your hand and you lock your pinky around yeah, the wrist. It's like the three, the three fingers, right? And then like yeah, for some yeah. reason, and then like the rest goes like here. Yeah, you lock and, like, it. You just lock that shit. It just locks it. And yeah. it's been amazing. Kids can't fucking get out of it. They're no. like dangling, like, <laughs> <laughs> but they can't get away because you got it locked. <laughs> it's like an anchor, you know, yeah. like you don't use it all the time, but when you do use it, it's like very like helpful. Yeah, it's most of the time, you know what? This is why it does this. It's like saving its strength. <laughs> Like I can't, yeah, it's I like, can't no, be used right now, guys. Useless jobs. I'm gonna only do the good ones, like the ones that are helpful. <gasps> Maybe that's why when you drink and you raise your pinky, it's to show you're classy, because that's the classy finger. That's like I only do the diva. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I only lift groceries and lock up kids. <laughs> like that. <Yeah. laughs> I don't do peasant jobs like pointing <laughs> or mm. carrying rings. I mean, I guess there's pinky or, rings. Or typing, but... like so yeah, typing. Oh my god! I no. I do use my pinky for typing only this one and only to hit the enter button. No, mine's oh. like the the ring. I'm like, uh, yeah, yeah. Mine's uh, ring and I shift. Oh yeah, and shift. Wait, okay, enter. Oh, shift. Sorry, where did you go? Oh, You're sorry, like, that was me. I accidentally hit enter. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, back bitch. <laughs> Damn it! Sorry, I wasn't. I didn't even mean to do that on purpose. Yeah. You're like, yeah. I'm practicing. I'm practicing. <laughs> I was trying to see all the buttons that I use my pinky for. All the outer buttons, not the letters. The outer symbols. Yeah. Uh, if I have to double tap or like hold two at once. It's always my index and my ring finger. It's like, so my my like. Um, I'm trying to think how yeah. I do that. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. It sounds weird, but now that I'm doing it, I'm like, oh, that's what I do. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm like, oh, that's right, middle and index. Okay. <laughs> Typing is stupid. As <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it, my pinkies are up as I'm like picturing it. I'm like, yeah. Maybe by the time we're ninety, the technology will already be like in our brains, where we just have to like think it. And then oh, it like no. types it out for us. Oh, so much stuff those, goes like, on in here. <laughs> <laughs> Not all the time. You like turn it on like a computer. You're like, oh, okay. No, you just put your brain glasses on, and then that's how you do your shit. Google and Glasses tried done. that and it failed. <laughs> <laughs> they Google gotta redo it. Yeah, they're they're slacking, okay? They tried. A for effort. <laughs> yeah. I never understood that saying. Um, A for effort. Um because it starts with an E. So it shouldn't it be like E for effort? I know it's like, oh, you passed because you tried. But yeah. I hate the saying because A and effort don't match. And I like, I, I mean, in some of our letter grades, we use E for excellent. Yeah. For so like the good. skills portion on the report cards. Mm -hmm. So like it could that easily have be when I was E for effort. School. Just so you know, it's because yeah. of my generation. You get this letter. <laughs> So we could we could say E forever and it still mean the same thing. So We're yeah, just change it from now on. That's all we'll say instead of We're E forever. Like, that's E forever. forever. Yeah, and, and, then then forever. People, and then over time it will that will be the same. It'll be a Mandela effect. People yeah. will be like. A like one person randomly will be like yeah, like A for effort, and you'll be like, no, 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 it's E for effort, and they'll be like, no, wait, and then. We'll have a race, all mention of A for effort, and just leave E for effort, and people won't know which is which. Is this under yeah. our Nazi street thing of like pinky breeding? Like, <laughs> pinkies and E for effort. We're like genetically purifying the line. 
Yeah, well, by um, the time we're 90, it'll be acceptable because we're crotchety old people. Like, <laughs> maybe we we'll be, you know, us. We can be evil villains, but we're just, <laughs> we're just fucking I'm around. down for my villain era. Like, oh my 90? gosh, that's what I want to have. Yeah, fucking 90. That's it. Villain. Oh, I'm wearing a cape. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> Leather cat woman like outfit. I'm like, yes. I'm gonna black bandex. Spandex. Yeah. That's fucking villain. I would Eric. love to see an older, like older women do that. Like yeah, this is our villain era. rocket. Yeah. Listen, other millennials. Once us older millennials <laughs> hit 90, let's all be villains. Yeah, like, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Enter our real villain era because we'll finally have government power at 80. Yeah. <laughs> the other generation yeah. will finally be <laughs> all dead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, we should be in <laughs> positions of power now, but we're not. We should. We're <laughs> living in our parents' basements because we can't live. Like it's, <laughs> it's never happening. <laughs> Like these old people need to retire, but they can't because they can't afford to because of the nope. policies they put in place. Yeah. <laughs> it's so fucked up. Like I can't like I explain like this kind of stuff and I talk about it and like it doesn't feel real to me. Like I feel like I'm reading a dystopian novel. Yeah, like this is I like I don't understand how this is real life. <laughs> yeah, like, like I just uh... don't get it anymore. I don't believe it. It's like but, I understand yeah. why people have conspiracy theories because yeah, it does sound made up. But yeah, no, I I get no. why people have conspiracy theories. <laughs> yeah, because we're living in one. Oh, yeah. Ah, <sighs> oh, I don't want Galen Weston Jr. <laughs> I, hope, I hope by the time I'm ninety, he's gone. Like, I'm that'd be pretty nice. sure, unless he like you know becomes a cyborg. But like, like he's a rich person, he could put his brain in a jar. That's what I'm saying. He style. might become a cyborg. So like, let's hope he doesn't. Yeah. Um. My so uh, cutouts Canada. Actually, I'm going to show you this. They just uh released a new for our YouTube followers. Uh, new merch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's public enemy and it's like the no name and it's 50 percent off yeah that's all it is <laughs> oh but yeah so uh uh cutouts canada yeah, that's where you can purchase that <laughs> <laughs> fucking no name and like that uh, shit's so expensive too and they're like Oh, people love name our brand. brand was cheaper than no than no name. I when I went to No Frills, I had to stop to get um like a couple of snacks because we were running low before my big grocery haul, which I just did today. But like, we were comparing, and No Name was more money than the name brand. No Name sandwich bags were like five dollars. Ziploc was three ninety nine. I was like, are are you kidding me? That's because no names turning out to be a bougie brand. They got it's like so true. They have like and- <laughs> merch. Yeah. Like, so merch much shit. Shit. Yeah. yeah no, it used to be for, for Christmas, poor no people. Used- <laughs> but, uh, yeah. No, like for Christmas, um, I had a secret Santa and there was wrapping paper and it was no name wrapping paper. It literally said no name around it. And I was like, Okay. They have like a social media person that just like wears no name stuff and sits in a no name chair and has no name flip flops and like a no name bag. Okay, that, and... okay, but the marketing is pretty genius. Like I, I can't deny it. <laughs> it is pretty fucking genius. But... Well, everyone loves to market poor people, right? Yeah, you it's know, like, like that attic. You know, <laughs> like, I like how simple it is. I like how it's like. We didn't, we were too lazy. Like, we just, like, no name. Like, I like that. However, I just don't like who owns it. Fuck that you guy. You viewed no name as they were too lazy to name the product and not <laughs> that they were, like, not spending the money to create marketing on the product. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So that's Whatever why it's it cheaper. <laughs> you just thought they were like, no, they just didn't want to name it. <laughs> yeah, just like, it was like a marketing no decision. <laughs> 
you're you're like you know what they were just too tired that day they're like you know what yeah, Steven, like, let's not give it a name are no <laughs> name because i'm too tired to label these crackers today that's how they decide what it becomes <laughs> what i like i can relate some days but i don't think that was what <laughs> <laughs> no, it's cheaper because they didn't spend money on marketing. <laughs> I'm just saying, I but have so much money on marketing. I want. God, what do I want? Oh, you know what? By the time I'm 90, I hope there's still coffee beans. Uh, those are <laughs> those are at risk of uh, being no more. Yeah, I thought bacon was at risk of being no more like chocolate is and chocolate. Oh, yeah, because yeah. chocolate, cocoa, like those beans, uh, they're at risk of not being able to be produced anymore. Um, so I hope by the time I'm 90, uh, oh, we oh, have fucked up the planet. Whatever, cacao, cacao yeah, pods, right? Cocoa, cacao, yeah. yeah. Um, cacao. <laughs> it's just cocoa. I just. Uh, <laughs> No, it's cacao. I'm I like, know, okay. it's, I know it's cacao, but it, you know, us white people call it cocoa. <laughs> <It's just> cocoa. <laughs> and um, I hope, like later generations, sure, but I hope for my until I'm ninety, it's still around. Just like fuck you guys, I want to make sure I got. I, I got it. going even deeper off that. I hope like the planet is kind of like still around. When mm. I'm 90. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, nice. we keep having new record heat temperatures like yeah. on Earth. Fourth year in a row. Like that's not very good 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 odds, good trends. No. Um, um yeah. It's fucking oceans are going to dry up. We're going to have tank girl. Oh my god, I want to be tank girl. <laughs> <laughs> Dibs on tank girl. Fucking sucking water out of people because there is no water. Yeah, a water and power. I I love Tanker. I like my again. My dad made me watch these movies and I loved them. And then he wonders why my political views are the way they are. <laughs> right. That's what we grew up <laughs> on. Fucking shit like Tank Girl and Captain Planet and all these other like at Waterworld. You know, we're like, we need to not have this happen. And we're like, no, no, no. I believe in free markets. <laughs> it's like, what <laughs> the fuck? Go away. Like the adults that like showed us all these things turned out to be the villains in these movies. Well, like, how the fuck does that you, happen? You live, wait, you you die early enough. You become the, you live long enough to become the villain. I don't remember that quote. What's that quote? Batman? I don't know, but our plan is to be villains, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's Harvey Dent. You either mm -hmm. die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become th of the villain. I knew it. Have yeah. you guys ever watched College Humor Batman? Yes. No. <laughs> oh my god. So like there's one part where it's like Harvey Dent and Two-Face and depending on how uh, <laughs> Harvey Dent or Two-Face has his face, he's like Batman's like Harvey Two-Face, what'd you do with Harvey Dent? And then he'll move his face and he'll be like Harvey Dent, Two-Face was just here. You know, like it's just <laughs> back and forth. And the guy's trying to tell uh, him, dude, I'm, I'm, the, I'm both of them. He's like, no, no, no. <laughs> It's so oh. funny. College humor had like a great like period where they were just like the greatest joke. Like they are what SNL dreamed it was. Then they started charging for like everything. Yes. <laughs> like, ah, <sighs> you're one of those people. It's always um, what happens. It always comes down to money. That's why free markets don't work. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like, yeah, their best content too was the free stuff. Um, and it's so good. My favorite is um, the penguin episode because Kyle makes fun of me all the time. Uh, so when I have plants, I'm not a very good plant keeper. They die all the time. <laughs> I'm like, it's fine. They're just sleeping. And then so this Batman thing, he's like, oh, I don't kill anybody. And the penguin's like, those guys are all dead. And he's like, no, they're just sleeping because they, <laughs> they're tired from fighting me. And then yeah. he's like, oh, my fish. He just like went to see was sleeping 
And then the penguin's like, no, he died. And then he's like, Dr. Fishy. Yeah. So whenever I do that, Kyle's like, when you sleep, you die. And I'm like, Dr. Fishy. We never have real conversations. We're always just voting <laughs> like TV things back and forth. Um, does yeah. that happen to any other couples? Like, do you actually have conversations with your spouse? Or do you just quote TV to each other? I don't even talk to my husband. I, <laughs> yeah. quote, like, <laughs> I quote I a lot. I him from time to time, but like, <laughs> no. I don't think Chris is a quoter, but I do quote a lot. We are like a half-quoting relationship. It's one-sided. He's yeah. like the real person and you're the pretend person. Yeah. <laughs> Every once in a while. I Sometimes think I have to explain where the quote is from. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, where's that from? Because he didn't get or, like, it. You know? All of like the other quotes I've had through life, I've made Kyle watch those movies. Like The Quiet Man, My Fair Lady. Um, just so he's on the same page. <laughs> I don't think he used to be a quoter. I think he used to know how to have conversations. Um, I just ruined him. Like 20 yeah. years, I damaged him. And now he doesn't know how to talk to people unless it's quotes. That's oh, see, that's, see, for Chris, he still has time. He yeah, has- you, he still has time to be human. <laughs> Oh. Okay, do we have anything else we want to have leave with have we learn skill? Learn? <laughs> I want to be able to wipe 90, my ass. How is it? Yeah, no, you want to be able to do or have oh. do yeah. or have when we're 90. And mine is wipe my own ass. Oh yeah, that'd be a good one. Like just to be able to like bathe myself. Yeah, that's like I just want to be able luxury. to walk to the toilet. Like, yeah, like, <laughs> the bar is on the floor, guys. We just but like, like, you like, don't have to wipe me. That's fine. Like, I won't care. I'm ninety. Like, but I want to be able to go to the bed. I don't want to like shit my bed. That's it. Like, that's my that's my bar. Don't want to. But shit like, my bed. your body like betrays you so yes. much, and. There's so much embarrassment around it. Like we should normalize. Well, I know I'm gonna that happen. I'm not like I'm. Uh, yeah, it's gonna happen. Uh, I just want to do it less often as possible. Yeah. Like it's just like I just hope I have mobility enough. Like I know there's like you can get a fucking hose. It's fine, but yeah. I really want to be able to scoop in and clean it. <laughs> And deal with it yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't want to have to call my nurse. Okay, whatever. Like it, I don't think I'll be embarrassed. I'll be. I won't care at that point. Well, you think you won't care, uh, but there it is. Like, as, like people are like, because okay, how well, many times do you shit now? Like, it's yeah. happening all the time. Like, if it's a one time, yeah, I feel like <laughs> I wouldn't care. But every day, every shit, like that's a, that's a lot. Yeah, no, but then you get used to it. I find. I think I'm gonna I have think. dementia. I'm not gonna remember the day before. Like. <laughs> <laughs> and you just have, try to have fun with it, you know. Yeah. Um, I hope to have a young worker uh, who isn't still working because I have to, um, and like who can make jokes about it because <laughs> like that'd be so yeah. awkward if you're just like it's fine, you know? Like it's yeah. just like. I'm gonna uh, ask, like every night before I go to bed, like my nurse, I'll be like, How many times did I shit on you? Like that will be my question before bed. I'll be like, So how many, how many times, times did I shit on you? Yeah, how many times did, 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 yeah. did I beat my school? Did I beat my record last time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone yeah. thinks she has dementia, but really it's all an axe. So That's her start. villain era. <laughs> She's shitting on <laughs> everyone. How many times she shits on people <laughs> without them like being mad about it? Like, yeah. We- Without them, like, giving up on life. Yeah. yeah. And so she's just, how many times I shit on you today? Oh, that's okay. It's like, and they're, like, training new people. They're like, this is Don Marie. Uh, she's pretty easygoing, you know, throughout the day. Um, <laughs> watch out, because she's a shit. <laughs> she sprays it everywhere. She's a shitter. 
Um, uh, but besides that, at the end of every day, she's gonna ask you for a number of how many times. Just be honest with her. We found <laughs> the easiest way for her just to you go to bed. A couple of numbers to make her happy, like, <laughs> like you yeah. know, yeah. Mm. <laughs> can we be in the same home, you guys? Like, can that be <laughs> like when it's time for us to need care? Can we please be like finally living together our old people Let's call put it in our living wills like, like <laughs> yeah i'll get shipped off don't worry and like just because i think we'll have a lot of fun it'll be like college dorms oh my like, god yes like a tapioca pudding fight like, oh, and i'm like here. thinking how i'm gonna decorate my dorm room <laughs> yeah <laughs> your old people room like oh, i'm so excited now <laughs> Counting down the days. <laughs> oh, oh, they'll have those buses that'll take us to like bingo and shit. Maybe we can like bribe the driver to be like, hey, actually, we want to go like to a different place. And then we just this go and party. Club? Like, club. There's, like a, a club instead. there's like this really awesome um, like senior living home I used to follow. I haven't paid much attention, but they would have like adult entertainers come in and like serve them drink like tea party days and these men will be like naked or they'll bring <laughs> topless women in like <sighs> i was like this is fucking amazing they do like that's the duck home hunts. i want to go yeah to. they do like duck cuts where they give like the residents like nerf guns and like the the workers are wearing like duck outfits and, like duh, 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 duh. i feel like, like that's gonna be what the old age homes are gonna be when our generation is running them i fucking right it better be <laughs> I was like, yes. Um, like this is amazing. Like it's your end of lives. Like, why do you have to sit in your room? You know, like it's yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, so we're gonna be old and awesome. Villains, so we're gonna be villains. We're gonna be living together, we're decorating our dorms, bunk beds. Oh no, we're gonna be too old to go into <laughs> Yeah, we'll we'll figure it out when we're that we'll figure it out. Yeah, <laughs> oh, we got time, we got time. We got time. <laughs> I don't think anyone wants to sleep below me if I'm shitting. Like, come on. Oh now. my god, no. <laughs> you to get your, your own room. room. Yeah. You're getting what? your own room. <laughs> mm. No. I'm just no. saying, like, if I'm if I have to the genetics of my family and I'm like my nanny, you do not want to be on the bottom bunk. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> oh no, your poor nanny. He's she was not back. there near the end. Uh, like See? it was her brain too. Like her mind yeah. was like. That's what I mean. I'm gonna have dementia, and I'm gonna shit on people. That's just how it's gonna like, happen. She just I like at it. the end, and for like she just went to a corner in her room. Mm -hmm. Like it was like yeah. She, was no, so, she would like, as she was walking to go grab a beer. I shit. No, I like I'm not. Even I know. Yeah. You. Yeah, I know. Walked her. She was walking, and she was like, it, it started as a long fart, and then you would see shit just going down her leg. Yeah. And like oh god, Manny. Oh, no. Yeah, and we're like, yeah. God, that's for you to clean up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that ain't yeah, mine, Annie. My future, so I already know what's in store for me. Okay, like, you know what? Maybe if she liked me better, I would have been fine cleaning her up. But she picked Natty over me, so well, yeah. too bad for her. Yeah. Like that's the wrong one. <laughs> Yeah, I think Natalie should have been me, and I was her granddaughter. Okay? I know like, that's what I mean. Natalie should have been the one. Yeah. Clean that up. Not you, Natalie. Exactly. <laughs> she owes you now. She needs yeah. to go. When you start shitting, Natalie needs to clean it up. <laughs> we talk about <laughs> shit man. so much. <laughs> no, like we should change our podcast to be like, oh, <laughs> how did the girls <laughs> bring up shit today? <laughs> like, <laughs> um, shit's coming out of the most unexpected places we do though like it is like but you know to be fair when you drink like when you bring alcohol into something shit is always there you know what i mean like they go hand in hand i like guess you know drinking and shitting drinking and shit but we do like it it's freakishly large amount <laughs> is um, it normal i don't know i don't that's a, i don't know like i know most women don't i think as women there's not many if any i know there's some that are like pretty crude but like that's if you not. listen to other podcasts how often do they bring up shit like let yeah. us know give uh, us a number yeah. bitches with beards i know you guys listen to us a lot how often 
have you listened to other podcasts and they've talked about the duty? Yeah. Right. Or how often have you brought it up on your podcast? Yeah. yeah. Like how uh, often do you, with your friends, do you talk about poop? Cause we talk a lot about it off our podcast too. Like it's the main focus of a lot of our conversations. <laughs> it's, is that normal? That See, now I don't know if sometimes. I'm conversationing right. Yeah. And then now I'm going to be worried about it. I don't know. Maybe we just talk to each other weird. <laughs> Chris and I always have this conversation. We'll be like ta- doing something ridiculous. And then it's always like, are other people this ridiculous? Or are How we just I just ridiculous? talked about this last week? <laughs> I'm like, oh, I get there. Um, but like, yeah, we're like, are other people this weird? Oh, my God. oh yes, hundred <laughs> percent. Like everyone is. Like weird is the normal. Okay. Yeah. How is people normal? Like how do other people talk to each other? Like other other couples? Like I don't know. I don't know. Is it because everything like, I see is fake? That's it's- right. On TV, right? Like that's fake relationships, and you, ours is nothing like that. So like that's all you know is like the fake. Like fuck, am I doing this wrong? <laughs> That's it, I think. Yeah. What else? <laughs> what I don't know. I, just- I like ran out the minute I said uh, I want to be able to do the same things I do now. <laughs> like, yeah, like, you know what? Anything that's, now, that's it. Like, Everything, I don't mind 100%. like the looking old. Mm. You know, I don't mind slowing down what I do now, but I still want to be able to like do it. So, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. I am wondering. How long it will take before I start to like age age? You know, I'm like pretty kind of older now. And I'm just wondering like at what age will I wake up and it just not be <laughs> like I'm not be when young you anymore. Start, when, you, when you have to like literally take both hands and like slowly push yourself out of bed or grab on the things to get yourself out of no, bed. No, I still have I to do that, that now. Yeah. yeah I, I was like, that too. when will my face start looking like when do you just like Find wake wrinkles. up one morning I don't know. Like, and like like oh shit now I'm old okay you know, I like, now I don't look like me do you know those aging filters yeah I'm like TikTok and stuff I used one once and I couldn't po- post it because I looked like it's like made me to like 60 or whatever I looked like I was dead <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> so bad like and like then all the doctors are like this is realistic this is fun you know and i'm like no (laughs) no my like other mom she's like 70 but like you could still tell that what she looked like before like sure she has some wrinkle but she has like amazing skin i'm just gonna fucking take it but like you can still tell that's what she looked like when she was younger like that's but yeah. a lot of the times, you're like, they look so different, you know? Like, mm-hmm. a lot of the the older generations don't look anything like they did when they were 20. Yeah. I'm just wondering if one day <laughs> I'm going to wake up and be like, what the fuck? I don't look like me. Okay. When that day happens, you have to text us in group chat. <laughs> I don't recognize who I am. Guys, I'm old. <laughs> Here's that um Kurt Lee Curtis, Curtis Lee. Oh, shit, Jamie Lee Curtis. And- Jamie Lee Curtis in yeah. that like parent trap. Yeah. Uh, I'm so old. Yeah. <laughs> Friday the 13th. No. <laughs> no. What the fuck? Uh Freaky Friday. There Freaky we go. Freaky Friday. Yeah, not parent yeah. trap. It's just Lindsay Lohan's in all of them. <laughs> Yeah, I hope that I recognize myself. That's what I'm 90. <laughs> and like, maybe, always, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I still hope I have like my lips. A lot of times when people like age, your lips get thinner. So I might have still okay. upper lip. I'm already noticing. I, I started noticing. I'm like, it can't be that bad. I know I'll probably be bald. Like, I'll have three strands of hair, but I'm just hoping it's still a little bit. Plumpy. But that's like also like an e- pretty easy fix. Like if all I need to do is like get lip filler when I'm old, I'll be fine with that. Yeah, just a little lip yeah, filler. Like, same with anything else, you have to like continuously do it once you get it. Yeah, but it's just like it's a, it's a little prick by a needle. It's not nothing like crazy. Yeah, it's not like you're injecting day. with like the fat that people do, and then all of a sudden it's like lumpy as fuck. Yeah, no, it's just yeah. uh like a injectable that yeah 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 
and then it like disintegrates over time so i have to keep getting it like redone yeah. refilled did you know botox is botulism yes yes i i fucking didn't <laughs> <laughs> that's why <laughs> it's like it like it, you have to be very careful because like if they hit like the wrong thing you're if they hit dead. a nerve you're fucked <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fuck. Like, you're worried about giving your kids botulism, then now you're putting it in your face? Yeah. Yeah. I don't want them to die. I just want to look good. You just want to look good. There's this stuff that I use on my face sometimes. It's amazing. It's expensive. Uh, but you put it on and it gets rid of, like, all your creases. It's, like, 60 bucks. And it gives you, like, three applications. <laughs> but, like, I was like, ah, oh, I look so young. <laughs> and it lasts just, the next morning yeah like, like i just started using a retinol cream at night <laughs> yeah yeah so, i'm starting to use that too because um, i feel like the, the caved in, it's not even just dark circles like my actually eyes are caved in. in yeah that's old lady disease uh yeah where you're tired and stressed all the time um, yeah like my well it's the puffiness too right so you're trying to get rid of the puffiness yeah, it so it's the cave in, worse. but it's puffy, saggy, and hollow at the same time. <laughs> yeah, like how the fuck like, does that happen? Skull, like where the shape of my skull, like, <laughs> my eyes are sunken in, and I'm like, yeah, like it's oh fucking little alien. <laughs> oh, no, it's aging's tough. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I'm having, I like even personally now, like I'm like noticing like lines more, and I'm like having trouble because i'm like i don't even know how to do my makeup because i have a new wrinkle i have the <laughs> forehead like there's so many lines up here like it's, it's insane i only have the one from doing this oh did you <laughs> see other than that <laughs> I'm getting like the crows, like the smile eyes, you know. Oh, I'm always too. laughing, you know. So, yeah. and because I wear like a freaking winged eyeliner, and I'm getting like extra wrinkles there. I'm like, this is making my job tougher. I'm gonna have to find like a new. I use tape. eyeliner way. <laughs> Just like you tape under your eye and over top your eye, you get some eyeshadow, and you're like, and damn, it's done. <laughs> <laughs> I I use like the bold black like pen one, and it's just ugh, I don't know. Uh, I don't no, know. I can't do that. Can't my like, it. and I can't. I'm, I'm so sensitive um, that like whenever I do do like the makeup or I do like I get rid of like the wrinkles and like it's layers and layers. It lasts ten minutes on my face because then I gotta wash it off because it's either burning or starting to curdle. It's not good. <laughs> So that's something when uh, I'm old, I still want to be able to, like, do makeup nice. Mm -hmm. You know. Moisturize. That's all I pretty <laughs> much, that's like my regimen. It's just moisturizing. Drinking so much water. Your face looks so red compared to your hands right now. That's because of alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, again, I'm... Oh, sensitive to everything so yeah um this, this, my, this is my whiteness this is my redness it's funny because you can't even be like it's a the lighting because when you put your hand like you, your hand's still white yes yeah, so so i like my hair my like i have red skin you can't even tell so usually or oh, maybe at the bottom i have very red skin always um but this looks like a fake hand <laughs> For our YouTube listeners, um, we'll probably end it on Sonya's mannequin uh, hand. Sonya's fake mannequin hand. <laughs> like, you could probably just, like, not move it and just, like, yeah. And it, it doesn't look a part of you. It's the wrong color. Yeah. Like, <laughs> here, guys. Hold up our sleeve and it's even whiter. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's blind. <laughs> Her hands a little more tan compared to her fucking arm. Like, <laughs> it just gets worse, wider and wider. Oh my god, my tits are blinding. They're so fucking <laughs> white. I haven't seen sun in so long. Uh, like no, and like I can't go topless in my front yard. I live on a busy street. Like, well, I can because it's legal. No, oh shit, it's not legal here, guys. It's not legal no, there. It's not. I, it's, I can't go topless in my yard. I can go topless in my front yard. I'll you go can't. to prison. 
Come to my yard and get topless. That's right. In March, when I'm there, it'll be yeah. warmer than here, so it'll be fine. Uh, Give a little it's dimply outside. Yeah. <laughs> we'll wear earmuffs. It'll be fine. Like, we'll be so cold. We'll just take our shirts off to, like, get warm. I'll get Chris to take a picture. <laughs> we'll just, like, our shirt. back. Yeah. You just see us in there. <laughs> Perfect. That's I said. also live on a busy street if you're in the backyard. <laughs> so if we're in the front yard, you just see the neighbors next door to each other. So we'll do it in the backyard. We're going to do topless tanning in March. <laughs> the in Canadian March. way. That We're Canadian. It's fine. Okay. Like, it's okay. I'm holding you to it now. I'm hoping oh, we have I'll, a nice snowy take my backdrop. I'm going to shirt off. <laughs> I'm gonna have to wear mittens because my hands I have are my back tattoo. I've been trying to get good, but good shots of my back tattoo. So we're just gonna hold up the camera. I'm gonna get Chris to pull out the Nikon. You know, <laughs> like this is professional, like city <laughs> photos. <laughs> Fucking shake them up. <laughs> uh, okay, well, um, I guess we'll end it here. We're gonna be rocking old people. First I one, I'm gonna have so much fun. Yeah, I want to make yeah. sure, like, when I die, like, you guys plan, like, a rocking funeral. I feel like I don't, I'm going to be mulched, but, like, you know, that, like, celebration of life. Celebration of life. Like, yeah. make it a party. Okay. And I'll we're do the gonna, same for you, too, unless you have different requests, you know, like, just um, let me know. I'm going to be a robot. Uh, but Don, <laughs> we're going to do, like, a practice for her 40th. So yeah. we'll, like, we'll do a, a dry run. Yeah. And see so it'll be good. Yeah. It's, I yeah. mean, it's again scary because we had the genetics conversation at the beginning of this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's not like the like the run might be my real one. We'll see. We might have jinxed it a little. Yeah. Bit. So <laughs> like, knock on wood. This is why I never want to cancel my life insurance. Um, just because <laughs> I don't want to jinx it. And like, it's such a waste of money. But I'm worried <laughs> that once I cancel it, that's it. That that's it's, when you yeah. Yeah, it's always how it works in like movies and books. And it stuff. does, and yeah, yeah, they're like, oh, I know it doesn't happen in real life, but I feel like that's my luck. Uh, <laughs> that's been like the theme of my life. Yeah, uh, yeah. so <laughs> karma, I guess. Although, like, whose karma is it? Because I like it's not my karma. I've been a good fucking person. Who's like? Better I think it's karma. just uh, yeah, the how the mean. universe always like yeah. pick just picks on people. It always rewards evil people and then picks on other people. That's why we need to go in our villain's age to live yeah. forever. Yeah. That's what it is. It's to stay young and live forever. We're going to set people on fire. I'm excited. <laughs> well, uh, our VIP Patreon, Stephanie Hurst, can be a member at like our where our old age home is. We'll invite her to stay. She can totally live with us. One yeah. of the rooms on the same floor. Door yeah. room for senior people. Yeah, the Come ultimate VIP. In. She's like, I've been listening to you girls for 50 <laughs> years. <laughs> right, let's all do our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> she could finally join us. Let's be together. Means British. I can't do a British accent for old. I just automatically go into Southern old. <laughs> <laughs> Once you're old, everyone's accent's the same. Like you're like I can't use my nationality accent. It's no, this is my an old. It's, a it's, an old accent. Heart. Yeah. it's like you're on a date with someone. And you're like on your profile. You said you were 55, and it's like, oh, I am. <laughs> I'm 55 for a count. <laughs> really? You're like 75. How yeah, would he know? Where it count? Like, oh my gosh, I want a working vagina. We're going to end on that. Just by getting like pristine, like it's brand new, out of the box. Just opened it, attach it on. That's it. I'm fucking... That's what I want when I'm 90. Like brand a new, new one? Vagina. Or your my current own. vagina and nothing. No, like my my own maybe, but like my, you, like it got better. Like it's just like yeah, like, like you want it like fixed up, like you're yeah, older and you like, get it. You know, like there's that death becomes us, like uh, TV show with Bruce Willis and stuff movie. Yeah, yeah, I want that, but for my vagina. Mm. Yeah, that's what I want. 
I don't care about any other plastic surgery. My tits can be to my knees, <laughs> but like I want to still be able to use that. Yeah, no, I I I get that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like I'm gonna have to like take hormones, you know, make sure it still gets lubed, lubricated. All the yeah, old whatever stuff. I have to do, maybe that's what the tapioca pudding's for. <laughs> Your vagina? <laughs> <laughs> I tried to end the episode, guys. No, but you no. eat it. You eat it. Oh, okay. oh <laughs> you're eating it. That's what like the tapioca <laughs> bubbles are for. They're like rejuvenating like your oh, skin. I thought it was like <laughs> you facial your vagina with the tapioca <laughs> pudding. The bubbles are like an exfoliant, <laughs> you know, like in the face ones. And they rub off the dead skin and moisturize. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. I guess, like, that's what old people are into, right? Like, <laughs> that's why they pudding. smell like onions and garlic. We went full circle. <laughs> hope you have your buffet. Hey, good night, everyone. <laughs> I'm. I apologize if you're old. <laughs> I promise you don't smell that bad. Just shower, brush your teeth a little bit more. Just brush your teeth. No offense. <laughs> Are you talking to me? Like not you. Brush your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> the old the hypothetical old people uh, were offending. I'm preemptively apologizing so we don't get canceled for ageism. Like, listen, if you smell bad, that's on you. I don't know. I yeah, can't smell you. much. You're I'm a grown online. adult that's at that point. Not, if that's like, if that's your choice, whatever. Like, that's then I, I feel like if it's your choice to smell, and I tell you you smell, you can't be mad at that. I think. And then you'd be like, so what? What are you going to do about it? Exactly. And I'd be like, like you know what? You're right. Fucking nothing. I get you're fucking right. <laughs> do you, boo-boo? I just want to let Jenny. you know. Okay. <laughs> bye. <laughs> okay, bye. 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 <laughs>